Loz, season 2023 came with some highs and some lows for the Giants. As you look back from pre-season through to round 14, how, do you, how would you describe the journey? It was a bit of, I think for me, like personally, a bit bittersweet. Obviously, I had a lot more court time this year, which I was super grateful for. Um, I think even a highlight for me was being able to like play with AP for her last season. Um, so that was really exciting, but yeah, I would probably switch a few of those games for a few more wins. Um, yeah, bittersweet would be the way to describe it for me. You touch on your personal reflections this season. You had a, a standout season in your second GR in the Orange and Charcoal, earning that goalkeeper bib halfway through the season. What was your mindset going into this season and was, was there a real focus for you, to, for you to earn that starting position? Yeah, I think definitely since coming to the Giants, I've obviously, that was my main goal to try to get on court more and to get a start from, yeah, round seven was really cool, something that I didn't think would really happen at the start of the year, so that was super exciting for me. Um, I definitely think that I've been doing this for a really long time, so any time that I get to take the court, I just wanted to make the most of it, and yep, yeah, I think that's, that's what it is. We saw you play major majority in goalkeeper, but you can play all three defensive positions. What, what's the position that you really want to cement for, for Lauren Moore going forward? Yeah, definitely in circle is where I belong. I told Julie I'll play absolutely anywhere. Turner, goal attack, I don't know. But I definitely do think that I thrive in, in goalkeeper and goal defence. Um, but yeah, wherever that opening is, that's where I want to be. So this year it was goalkeeper, could be next year. So yeah, if that's the spot, that's where I want to be. What do you put your uh, starting position down to? Is it uh, hard work, opportunity? What did you say you really worked on to be able to progress to, to that position? I think a strength of mine is my ability to get up in the air and I think sometimes it can be a bit deceiving for feeders. They might look at my height and be like, oh, that can get there and I just trick them a little bit. So not just my jump, but my footwork around the body and stuff. Um, trying to confuse the space, it can be yeah a little bit confusing for the feeders, so thank you feet. <laughs> your vertical jump is a, a highlight of your game and we saw that captured in a lot of photos throughout this season and you need that um, I guess as a, a style of play when you come up against the likes of Janil Fowler, Romelda Aiken, what's it like playing on those players? It, it must be tough but a bit of mental resilience might come into it. What do you tell yourself, I guess, before the game and when you're on the court against them? Because it is so hard to win ball. It's bloody hard. I think that what I tell myself is that the ball's going to go over your head a lot of times, but the ones that you get, like, just treasure it and be really happy that you were able to get them. So, yeah, I think just preparing myself that I'm obviously not going to get every ball, uh, might not get any balls, but, um, yeah, I really love connecting with my unit and I think it's really cool Playing against like a Janelle, the balls that we can get, it's real team effort and they, they feel even better than the ones that you get just by yourself. Your teammates this year have really credited your role that you've played on court. What's, what's your relationship been like uh, with the team this year? Obviously still building in, as I said, your, your second season with the Giants. Yeah, awesome. I've like, I, like I said, love playing with April. I love playing with Palmy. I've obviously did a bit of my underage netball with Palm, so to get the opportunity to play with her, she's a freak. So that's been super cool. But yeah, just across the court, we've got absolute legends. I feel like I love having Jamie Lee on my team because I can't say the word, but when stuff hits the fan, I just throw it to Jamie and she'll get any ball we throw. So. Yeah, my relationship with the girls is getting stronger every every day that I play and that we spend together. Reflecting from a, a team perspective, it, it was, I guess, quite a challenge going from, you know, one goal off making the grand final last year to results not really going our way this year. What do you think the team has learned from that that they can potentially take into to next season? Oh, I think, like, belief. Like, it honestly feels a little bit surreal. We were a week a week out of playing now and I yeah I don't believe that we only won what five games we were you know just I guess on the wrong end of of the scoreboard unfortunately but yeah I think belief that you know we're we are a really good team and we've just got to work out the little nitty-gritty things to just get us those other two points on the other side of the scoreboard and I think it's really exciting like our competition is so good so it, like as much as it sucked like losing our league is just growing and growing and I think that's something cool, like really cool that we get to be a part of it.